everybody and welcome to this week's vlog. Today we are doing our first showing show of the year. How exciting is that, Spud? So I have absolutely loads to do, including getting up and looking a little bit more tidy. So um, I will video when I get to the show. So we were at Lime Kiln Farm Equestrian Centre today in Norfolk, which is about an hour drive for us. My mum came with me along with Teresa, who is my friend slash showing guru slash showing trainer. She's just amazing. Um, she helped me get Donnie ready for the ring. We headed down to this warm up. There was a lovely big space to school in. However, there was a horse hooning around behind the hedge, which was incredibly unhelpful. And we went straight into basically giving me a bit of a lesson, which was fantastic. So everyone has bad habits when riding. My naughty habits is I've got a naughty left hand, which crosses over um, Donnie's withers. And I, I kind of twist it at a weird angle. Um, and also I throw my body forwards in the canter transition. That's another naughty habit I have. And also I ride with, as Teresa calls it, my hands in my pants um so i bury my hands and with showing it is all about the overall picture and you should have your hands up high like you're holding two cups of tea and look beautiful and elegant so donnie is a middleweight hunter and the dream this year is horse of the year show however i am realistic and probably not going to happen however you know we can dream we can have a go at it so with donnie we need to get him more consistent in the frame. We need to get him easy to ride for both myself and the ride judge. So he's just literally a push button. Um, we need to get him more stronger throughout his body. And he also needs to fill out a little bit more, which, I mean, that will just come with time. This is his left lead canter which is his better canter. You can see he's actually quite balanced at holding a contact on the left rein. It's just his head needs to stay up and in, if that makes sense. As because Donnie is a little bit weak, he tends to kind of want to either go a bit over Ben or have his head a bit lower or a bit like a donkey or a giraffe, um, which is something that will just come with strengthening over time. This is his weaker rein canter, and I have to work very hard on this rein to kind of hold it all together. However, the improvement is huge. When I brought this horse in October, he could not canter on the right lead. So, you know, and also my downwards transitions are so much better. He's just a bit babyish, but it will come with time, and I'm not going to rush him. I'm just going to try my best to encourage him and ride him to the best of my ability. So we wanted to use today's outing as like a training show because I've got all these big affiliated and county shows I would love to do with him. However, there's no point taking him like if he goes to a show and he just isn't ready. So here I am in my class. We just ended one class because Donnie does run out of batteries quite quickly and I like to go and use the arenas and stuff for schooling more like as an experience. I don't want to go and just enter loads of classes. I'm not here for rosettes. This is the open hunter class, which is why we were quite excited about this show because not many unaffiliated shows actually hold hunter classes anymore. And there were actually other hunters in it because there isn't many people that have like big hunters anymore. However, there was this lovely heavyweight grey hunter and then there was this lightweight hunter too so we come in and I'm kind of riding him and thinking powerful walk Teresa stood here where the camera is and she's kind of like 
giving me a few hand signals when I'm riding around. A hunter needs to cover the ground um, and be forwards and responsive off the leg. So I'm just walking around and thinking, right, let's get that walk, walking on and just letting him have a look at the arena, but not letting him spook at anything. If I enter an arena and I see things that I think my horse might spook at, I try and ride just off the track, like between the track and the three quarter line, um, just so your horse gets to look at them without being like on top of that scary thing. And then you can kind of leg yield your way out slowly. Or if there's something like on the long side, maybe I might kind of do like a, a little bit of a shallow loop or something just so they get to have a look. Um, but it is something to bear in mind when you go in the arena. Donnie is not really a spooky horse. I just need to remember to like ride him forwards and have him listening to me and then it will be fine. If I just let him switch off, then he will look for, I call them ugly booglies. He will look for ugly booglies in the bushes if I just let him do what he likes, basically. So once you're all sort of had a walk around, the steward will ask you to trot on. And I usually find just a nice place to pick up trot. Um, again, I want Donnie to be forwards off my leg. I need to hold my hands up. I just need to get him going forwards in a nice, steady and fluent kind of outline and shape working over his back and um, not look like I'm kicking and smacking. It should just look effortless. And actually, looking at the footage, it, it's pretty good. I actually thought I worked a lot harder than it looks because you see some people like kick, 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 and you're like, oh my God, that horse looks so lazy. And I did have to work quite hard. However, on the footage, I kept it fairly elegant. And my hands are not too bad for now. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how he's going. He's covering the ground. He could be a little bit more consi Oh, here we go, picking up canter. I was gonna say he looks like he's about to lose the contact, but this is his bad canter, which you always start off on the right and then you go to the left. That was a pretty good transition for me. And as you can you see, he's sort of bobbing in and out of the contact a little bit. And it's not looking like as sort of bouncy and effortless as what it does on the left rein. But actually, this is very good. I'm very impressed. I am kicking and flapping a little bit, thinking, oh my God, can we come back to trot now? Um, however, yeah, this is good. We just need this to be more consistent and easier for me. And like if a ride judge comes to ride him at an affiliated show, it just needs to feel effortless for them because they don't want to be kicking and pulling around. Um, here, the steward sticking his arm out, that always means change the rein. I wanted him to go into a like forward rhythm without rushing. And this is actually very nice. And then as soon as you hit the track, you should pick up canter immediately. Um, because the steward is busy over there, you should just pick up canter. And this is his good rein. Um, yeah, much, much easier. However, I did feel like when he was riding along this long side with the jumps, he was like falling in his shoulder, falling through his shoulder a bit. He was like getting quite close to the jumps. However, he's going forward, he's covering the ground and he's making an absolutely beautiful shape. My hands are doing a few weird things. Can you see that there? Charlotte's naughty hands. However, he is going quite well considering my riding is atrocious. So the last thing you do in a go round is a gallop. This isn't in every class, but most horse classes will expect you to gallop. The steward gave me some warning before I came into the corner and I just pushed him on and went for some really big, powerful strides. It was okay. I mean, this is a good extension for Donnie, but it needs loads of work. He really needs to show a clear change from canter to like gallop, basically. But yeah, overall, that's the best he has gone in a go round. So then we go into our show. So I was the first one to go into my ridden show and I was incredibly out of breath. Not gonna lie, I need to get on a treadmill or something. I was a bit, I was a bit rusty. Um, I thought I'd keep it really simple and just do a trot figure of eight with a canter on each rein. When you do your own individual show, you're just expected to do a walk, trot, canter and a gallop, depending on your class. Um, you should show a trot and canter on each rein. And with 
most of my horses, I tend to stick to sort of a simple figure of eight or a three loop serpentine with um, then a canter down each long side. You do want to design your show to be the best kind of, you just build it around your horse and their best elements. See, I was sneaky and I wanted to canter at this furthest away point away from the judge because I know my canter transitions can be abysmal. So you just kind of have to be sneaky about it. Um, so I trotted my figure of eight, cantered down this long side, and you can see here he's getting a bit like he is dying on me a little bit. Um, so I couldn't wait to come back to trot, <laughs> not gonna lie. However, he is he is looking absolutely gorgeous. And then I thought I'd pick up canter again in this corner, which is furthest away from the judge. Again, you know what I mean? It's a little bit, a little bit flappy. It needs to be like, boom crisp and in cancer um, and here I was thinking oh my god the horses are in the way and I can't go behind them um, so I made sure I gave them you know like a horse's width in front of them I thought I'd have a nice gallop up this long side which again eh, it's bigger and more powerful strides he's not like doing anything naughty or anything however it needs to be like more va va voom off my leg but this trot after is beautiful and then we finish it with a little bit of a walk and a halt in front of the judge so this judge actually wanted to strip the horses which was fantastic um at unaffiliated level they generally i don't think i've ever been asked to strip at an affiliated level before but this made the class go on a little bit longer and also gave donny the experiences he would have if he was at an affiliated or county show so someone comes in the ring um, like a groom, takes your saddle off for you. Um, obviously I had my mum and I've got Teresa to help me. And then you present the horse without the saddle on in front of the judge, stand them up to, so the judge can look at the confirmation of the horse all the way around. This is kind of, Donny has absolutely fantastic confirmation. However, he does look quite babyish without the saddle on because he just hasn't filled out yet. So I walked away trotted back at the judge so he could look at his movement and look at his confirmation when he's moving. Yeah, this is kind of Donnie's strong point. He's quite good at a little bit of in hand. Um, and then I just took him back to the lineup um, where we got his saddle back on. This is a brand new saddle we've brought for Donnie. Well, it's not brand new, it's a second hand one. This is the Cavaletti changeable gullet saddle. This was the second time I'd ever ridden in it. And honestly, love this saddle. We had to get Donny a bigger saddle because he's grown quite a lot and his other show saddle looks like you've put like a kid's tiny saddle on him. It just looks silly. Um, so we've got this second hand but new to me, lovely Cavaletti saddle, um, which, yeah, is beautiful. And here Donny is looking like gorgeous, gorgeous boy he is. We're just getting the saddle back on whilst the other horses finish doing their little in-hand trot up. He is a handsome boy. Very handsome boy. Then once we had all done our ridden show and our stripping and trotting off, that sounds so rude, but <laughs> um, we walked around and then the judge called us in and Donny won his class. I was actually pretty shocked because I thought he was going to choose the grey horse. But yeah, I was absolutely over the moon that Donny had won the hunter class. Um, the judge didn't have any feedback for me, but I was just so happy with how Donny has been and how he had behaved in this class. So I thought I'd just have a little trot lap of honour. Donny had fallen asleep a little bit on me. But yeah, absolutely chuffed. First show of 2024, well, like showing. And yeah, he has just come on so much. He was amazing. So one very, very proud owner.
mouth full of dust. I don't know about you. <laughs> So we have just got back from a fantastic day showing. I'm just sat in the menage with Spud. He's just getting his little leg stretch of the day. Still, still got my stuff on. But yeah, really, really fantastic day. And what was lovely was to get there, have the perfect amount of time to get ready and warm up. I basically had a lesson before I went into the ring and then Teresa was giving me like some pointers and stuff as I was going round. And then they actually stripped the horses, which means you take the tack off and do a trot up, which is what they do at county level shows. And that was a fantastic experience for Donnie to have like a mini county show at an unaffiliated venue. Um, and then he won his class, which I was super, super proud about. I mean, there's still lots to work on, but this is probably the best he's ever gone. Like since I've had him, this is the best he's going. Um, and then we did the championship and he got the reserve champion, which I was really happy about because the pony that won um, is a friend Mia's and that has been two boys. So I was very, very happy. And just a lovely day that we sort of went bish bash bosh, come home and no hanging around. Lovely. So I'm just sat here with a little picnic in the school at the minute and the horses are enjoying um, some lush grass down on one of the little track gangways so yeah i've really enjoyed today and i just need to get out to a few more unaffiliated shows before we hit the affiliated show level but overall yeah i'm really 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 happy with him he's just been amazing today and like even stuff like standing on the box still and letting me plat him and put hoof oil on him i mean there's still things we need to work on but when he is well behaved it just makes for a more enjoyable day out so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's showing vlog. It's so lovely to be back showing. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.